your seatbelts. Here we go. Oh, about to go. Let's go. go. Oh, yes, a touch to go Waste no time and get to it and do it. Here we go. Ben ain't got time to fill out nothing. You ain't filling out Woo! no applications. Ain't nobody hired, so we ain't ben, filling out no applications. Today. Ben this got is that, not a uh, fill out. Ben got that Vince Vaughn body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. He has the body. Oh, he has nice the body overhead like right yeah. a Nice overhead right. Ben Asker's built like a bag of milk, but <laughs> yeah. he's got that country strength. Well, right. Freddie Roach Red. did say that Ben Askren does have deceptive power. The Hall of Fame trainer himself, he did say that Ben Askren, if he fights the right fight, can defeat Jake Paul. Freddie Roach was complimentary of his work ethic and the fact that he did everything he asked. And you know what, already, Ben Askren's on the inside. Ben. He's trying to wrestle already. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying to get his that's what, he, that's what he needs to do to be a victorious. He needs to fight him like a wrestler. Get inside, muscle him out, tire him down. And control the fight. And control the fight. I hope they start kissing. <laughs> yeah. You think they'll start kissing? That's what I'm oh, here for. Oh, okay. What Jake Paul did predict before two rounds are done, he's going to put away Ben Askren. He ain't been oh. out there fighting like a 1940s fighter with that old ass style. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to change that style. Look, that's that, uh, oh, okay. that, that Come uh, old on, ass. Hey. Jake hey. Paul oh, being a lot back, more disciplined back. than I thought. Yeah, that's yeah, the style Jake. the fighters used to use in the 1930s. He's about to change that shit up. Oh, Jake. there's a left oh, hook oh. on the top of the head by Paul. Oh, hey, shit. Shot to the body, body shot to them. Real bang right to the motherfucking head. He's a fucking bad boy, dude. He is. Jake, get out. I'm trying Jake's to tell you. Jake's a bad boy. You think I'm going to put $2 million on the motherfucking goofball? <laughs>